Welcome. In this module, we're going to take a look at CIS Control 15, second in the part of the series for wireless access control. And we're looking in this module series now how to secure the wireless access points and the mobility that we have given to the users because um, on the mobile devices and on our computers or workstations or laptops, we, have given, we may have given wireless uh, access to these mobile devices, which could be tablets as well, for example, or PDAs uh, as well. So it's very important to limit the wireless access control because uh, this is uh, an area where, where there is no physical wire. These are invisible wireless signals which are traveling. And in the previous module as well, we had taken a look that we need to document uh, the authorized wireless access points, and then we need to detect the wireless uh, authorized point, uh, wireless access points. Now, this is the CIS control series for version 7, and there are 20 uh, critical controls, and we are on control number 15, wireless access control. And this is the system entity relationship diagram. We're using a number of mechanisms now. Um, for example, network level authentication, public key infrastructure, uh, wireless intrusion detection systems, network device management systems, and even the vulnerability scanner to ensure that we are monitoring, scanning, and implementing controls to limit wireless access control. Now, control number 15.4, disable wireless access on devices if not required. For example, your servers in the data center, they do not require any wireless access. And uh, uh, critical systems which have critical information, they should have wireless access disabled. Disable wireless access on devices that do not have a business purpose for wireless access. It could even be a printer. For example, you want to disable the wireless access. So by default, wireless access should be disabled if there is no business purpose for that device to connect to a wireless network. 15.5, limit wireless access on client devices. Now on client devices, which are going to move around, PDAs, tablets, uh, mobile device, handheld devices, laptops, configure wireless access on client machines that do have an essential wireless business purpose to allow access only to authorized wireless networks and to restrict access to other wireless networks. And that can be done as a matter of policy on Active Directory or other tools. And control 15.6, disable peer-to-peer -peer wireless network capabilities on wireless clients. Disable peer-to-peer -peer ad hoc wireless network capabilities on wireless clients because what can be done is that people can create ad hoc wireless networks um, so they may be connected to a wired network and on their Wi-Fi network they can create an ad hoc network and then uh, they can connect to uh, in a wireless mechanism or can allow others to connect to their ad hoc network. And that needs to be disabled because that can be uh, one of the ways which hackers uh, will uh, try to use for malicious purposes in the organization. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.